This right here might be the best beginner FPV drone that you can get to start out flying. And if it flies anything like the original Meteor 75 Pro, you're gonna love it. We're gonna do a full unboxing and flight review of the Meteor 75 Pro with the DJI 04 Lite unit. We're gonna build it all up, fly it inside, and then do an outdoor flight test and see how it performs. So let's first check out what's inside of the box here. Then right off the bat, it looks like they give you some extra propellers here, a screwdriver, and then a piece to connect the drone to your computer if you have to do any beta flight tuning or any updates or anything like that. Next, we have more hardware. It looks like this is for the DJI 04 Pro, kind of like a mounting system here. So we're gonna get into that in a second. We have one canopy here. They also sent me two boxes here, which looks like it has more mounting systems for the Meteor 75 Pro. And then also another canopy in here. So I can just open that up quick. Just some extra replacement parts. And now we have the drone itself here. And this looks exactly like the old Meteor 75 Pro right here. Exactly the same size. It looks like the same motors are on it too. Same propellers even. But then we have this new really good all-in-one flight controller and ESC here. So I'm excited to fly this and test it out. So to get this drone up and running, we actually have to install our own camera system here. So this is a model without the camera. You can get one with the camera already installed, but we have this one here. I have no idea how to install this camera. So we're gonna be learning together here. So it looks like that's our camera. What else we got in here? Yep, some gummies and a lens protection here. So I'm guessing all you have to do is plug this camera into this board here and mount it with the four screw holes. Yep, just like that. And then the canopy will go on the top here like that. Camera will come out of the front of the canopy and then I think that's it. So let's try getting this set up here. That snaps in there like that. Okay, so these rubber grommets here seem to go on the 04 board. So we're gonna put all these on here. And what way does this board sit? It's gonna sit like that on it. So I think like the taller side's gonna go towards the bottom here. Just gotta kind of smush those in there. Okay, so that's good there. And now we're just gonna switch out the cable for the one that's provided in the Meteor 75 Pro bag here. So we're just gonna unplug this camera from the 04 unit, put that off to the side. Does it matter which one I plug in? I don't think so. Just gonna make sure it lines up. Okay, so that new cable is now plugged in. It's just a little bit shorter than the other one here. So that's probably why they did it like that. And now we gotta attach that canopy using these elastics here. So it comes with a bunch of these rubber elastics. And I think you just hook it on one side and then this goes on the back side like that. And then we'll hook onto that canopy. Oh, this is gonna be difficult to put on, but I'm sure we can do it. So maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna put all the elastics on this part here and then try to put it onto the camera. All right, so now all four elastics are on this part here. Now let's try to somehow connect it to this camera. So it's gonna go behind the camera like this. And I think if we do two at a time, kind of hook that one in without ripping it. Okay, we got one in there. two in there, and now let's do the bottom two here. So it looks like we got all the elastics on here. I don't know if that's on properly or not, but I might go ahead and switch out and just do a hard mount of this later on, but we're gonna set it up how Beta FPV uh, suggests you set it up first, test flight that and see how it performs. And then later on, we might do some modifications and see how good we can get this drone flying. But for now, we're gonna be using these elastics. They look kind of jank, but I think it's fine. I think it should work still. Still got a little bit of like soft mounting there for vibrations and stuff. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take those screws out from the same bag with the elastics here. Get it lined up here. And there we go. Flip this around and do the same on the other side. And we're just lightly gonna do this and make sure everything fits well. And then we'll go through and tighten everything down at the end of the build. Okay, so that's fine there. So now we're going to replace the antenna with a short one that they provided in the, in the kit here. 
So this antenna should just pop off. You gotta be very careful here. I wonder if I should use like a little screwdriver and try to push it out that way. Okay, just like that. And now I'll put the short one on. Okay, and you'll hear it click in place when it's in there properly. And now the USB is gonna go in the back left and we're just gonna plug this in. It actually might be easier if I take this board out since we have to take uh, these screws out to mount the canopy back in anyway. So we'll just do that. Okay, so we just popped out the all-on-one board here. Um, and now we should be able to plug this in a little bit easier. It was kind of getting in the way with the, the motor guard there, so. Okay, it's in there good. I'm gonna push this board back down. Well, I don't know what screws I should be using for this because it's kind of long now. I think it's gotta be these long screws. Why are they pointed though? That makes no sense to me. Well, we'll take these out and see what happens. Oh, well, it might be right, actually. And I think we need our antenna kind of pointing back this way to go through the back of the canopy, just like that. Canopy's gonna go in, the antenna's gonna go through the back. Place all this stuff on top. Get another long screw here and try to put it down to the bottom. Okay, and we're just gonna lightly put one in first, just so we can move stuff around. Okay, so that's good there. And now one last screw in the back. All right, and I'm pretty sure that's it for the whole setup here. So we're gonna make sure that the 04 unit's activated because I just opened it out of the box. So we've gotta plug that into the computer and make sure everything's good there. Okay, so now to activate our air unit, all we're gonna do is plug in a USB-C to our uh, air unit and then to our computer with the DJI Assistant 2 app open. And it could take a minute for it to recognize, so we just gotta be patient here and just wait. Okay, so about after 30 seconds here, it recognized. We're gonna click on the DJI 04 air unit. We're gonna upgrade to the latest version here. All right, so after a couple minutes, the update completed here. So you have to have a battery plugged into the drone for it to activate. So once you have the battery plugged in, then you can start the activation. So to get it to bind, what we're gonna do is plug the battery in and out three times here. One, two, three. Click bind on our controller here, and now we're connected. So now I can charge up my batteries here. I have four of these one cell batteries. One thing to note is in this kit, no batteries or the chargers included. So you have to pick those up separately. All right, so we're out here at the park for our uh, first outdoor test. And I'm just gonna plug in our battery here. It's a little bit windy out, so we'll see how it performs in the wind as well today. All right, and here's our first flight with the Meteor 75 Pro. We're just gonna get used to it and see how the rates and everything are feeling before we start doing like gaps and stuff, but I love being able to see, like flying a tiny whip and seeing. Um, with the Meteor 75 Pro analog version, you can't really see what you're doing. So we'll just go around this park here. That was cool. Yeah, it flies great. The picture quality is awesome. Um, I'm not getting any jello or anything like that. I've heard a lot of people uh, say they get jello and stuff flying this drone, but nothing yet. So that's great. We'll go for like a little bit of a stroll over here. Yeah, I'm super surprised about this video quality. And this is just manuals or auto settings. I didn't touch anything with the camera or the air unit. Yeah, we can really fly this drone here. I'm starting to feel it rain a little bit on us, so we might have to speed this part up, unfortunately. And we're getting some low battery there. Okay, let's bring this back in for a landing, maybe we can get one more battery pack out before it really starts to rain. So that was two minutes of flight time um, using the, I believe they're called the lava batteries. Let me check. Yeah, these are the lava 550 milliamp per hour batteries here from Beta FPV. Um, that got about two minutes of flight time. We were flying pretty hard too, so. That spider web right there is calling my name, going right through the middle of it. Let's see if we can do that. All right, battery pack number two here. And we're just kind of do the same thing. I'm feeling that rain pick up a little bit, so. We might go for that spider web right through the middle of it. 
Should I go up from this way? Whoa. Kind of stuck here. Yeah, this is the first time flying at this park, but it is pretty cool. There's a lot of like gaps and stuff to practice out here. And like kind of like split asses and stuff like that. Got a little bit of shake on the way down, so I might need to tune it. Uh, this is a stock tune on as well here, but this is super fun. This drone is like flying great. And we haven't had any bumps or anything yet, knock on wood, but yep, there it is. I knew right when I was gonna say that, we're gonna hit something. Don't know why I said it, but. Oh, that was a little bit of a hard one there. And we hit something else too, but everything still seems to be intact here. Uh, got more water coming down, so we're gonna call that quits for today and go do an indoor flight test. So the outdoor test went really good. This thing rips outside, even in the rain and the little bit of wind that we had, like it was perfect. So now we're gonna do the indoor test and see how it flies inside. All right, so here we go for the first indoor flight test with the Meteor 75 Pro. Let's see how this thing goes. So I just gotta work on like a lot of control here. But it seems to be flying fine. Oh, we hit some equipment. And there's a door frame. There we go. Now we're out. Back up and flying. Yep, seems to be flying good. Um, I'm not too used to flying indoors though as you can probably tell. Oh, and there's my uh, 04 antenna right there. So let's see if it still flies with the antenna on the ground. Yeah, it seems to be flying well. Going a little bit too fast here. Let's try to slow it down. Can we go around this box side without losing signal? Yeah, we have no... I don't know why it keeps getting stuck like that. So as you can probably tell, I have a lot more experience flying outdoors than indoors, but this thing is still capable of flying indoors here. One issue that came up a lot was this antenna keeps popping off. A fix for that would be either putting glue or something like that, some sort of adhesive on the, on the connection here. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit of sticky tack and do another flight and see if we crash and hit anything if it pops off again. Just on top of that antenna there, I don't know how much you can see it from this angle, but I added a little piece of uh, sticky tack so hopefully this antenna doesn't pop off. Uh, let's do another quick flight with it here. Yeah, I love how there's like no breakup at all. Like if I was trying to do this with like analog, I don't know what was going on with my analog setup, but I would just get crazy breakup, crazy banding. So not having any of that's really nice here. Still flying pretty good here. Get a couple more turns in. Oh. Okay, so we're stuck up here on the drying rack. Let's see if we can get out, yep. No problems there. Yeah, the drone handles really well here, so I'm super happy with this. I'm definitely gonna be flying this drone a lot. I can tell you that. Go through some of the gym equipment here. Whoa, whoa. No. Yeah, it's going good here. Can we get out of this? I don't even know what I'm stuck on. 
So it looks like I need a lot more practice flying indoors, but this drone does fly amazing. I would recommend it as a first drone. Like I said, all you need is the goggles and the controller and then build this thing up or get it pre-built for you and you're good to go. I do plan on doing some modifications to this drone in the next couple of videos, like maybe changing out the canopy, hard mounting it, changing out some propellers and seeing how good we can actually get this thing flying. But when we're doing that park flight outside, it was amazing. So I can't wait to see what these modifications will do and if we can improve it even more. But if you liked today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.